Get the real news at realrawnews.com. Article dated August 24, 2023, titled, Marines Arrest 67 Maui Perpetrators. As the August 8th inferno scorched the tropical landscape and residents and tourists sought guidance from island officials, Maui's top emergency management official, Herman Andea, had only one key responsibility, sound the island's 80 siren alarm system, a blaring klaxon that would have encouraged confused and injured islanders to at once flee the fire-ravaged areas. He could have triggered the warning from any of the island's civil defense shelters or with a single phone call, but while Lahaina burned and Dea was 100 miles away in Honolulu, where he and FEMA Mission Support Associate Administrator Eric Lecky enjoyed poached swordfish and pricey alcohol, as if to celebrate a victory at Blue Ocean Seafood and Steak. That repast would be among their last as free men. United States Marines under General Smith's command arrested Andaya Tuesday on treason charges, days after he resigned amid public criticism for not sounding the alarm. Andaya defended his decision by saying he feared the public would mistake the siren for a tsunami warning. Andaya was apprehended at Dillinger Airfield on the northwest tip of Oahu while awaiting the arrival of a Cessna 310 to ferry him to Kauai for unknown reasons. He reportedly tried to abscond on foot, but was quickly subdued and arrested. According to our source, White Hats have videos showing Andea and Lecky meeting in Lahaina on August 6, two days before the blaze. Real Raw News reported previously that hundreds of FEMA personnel began arriving in Honolulu on that date, suggesting the diabolical agency knew that parts of Maui would soon be set ablaze. The footage is definitive. It shows Andea giving Eric Lecky a tour of Lahaina and advising him where to set up barricades to keep citizens trapped in what would become the disaster zone. Most of what we have comes from citizens who escaped FEMA's blockade, our source said. Lecky, he added, was apprehended Tuesday night outside the Grand Grand Wale Astoria Hotel, where he and 65 subordinates were enjoying a taxpayer funded vacation in $1,000 a night hotel suites and boozing it up at expensive bars far from the charred remnants of their hellish handiwork. FEMA, our source said, had commandeered several luxury hotels and evicted legitimate guests to make room for what seemed like a never-ending stream of armed agents, many of whom shed their uniforms, disguising themselves as beach-going tourists, once word spread that United States Marines captured Lecky in the parking garage. The Marines, though, had photographs of each FEMA employee to have arrived in Maui since August 6 and were able to identify and catch 65 federal goons trying to flee the hotel by every available exit and crevice. Marines suffered no casualties, though several FEMA sustained superficial injuries resisting arrest. Marines, our source said, are determined to incarcerate or otherwise deal with all agents still on the Hawaiian Islands. We know at one time FEMA had 2,500 in Maui. Some we got, a lot were killed in action as enemy combatants and a bunch escaped on airplanes back to the continental U.S. There's still plenty more there, and they know they're being hunted, our source said. In closing, our source confirmed that armed forces loyal to the criminal Biden regime have arrived in Maui to support FEMA. This is a bad development, and it seems inevitable that more bloodshed will follow.